This video is going to be on abortion and stem cell research. Uh, I ask that if you've ever had an abortion or have been personally touched by one, to please not watch this video. Now, what, what started the uh, thought process for this video is we had a debate last night on Stickham about abortion. And um, I wanted to simply put my views out there and tell exactly what I think. Now, there are many thoughts on abortion, whether um, a fetus is a person or a human being or a life. And that is where the real debate stemmed from. Not only a soul, but if it is a human life. Now some people say to that we can abort until pain receptors are incorporated until they are until you start to see pain receptors. Uh, pain receptors begin to appear in about the seventh week. Um, also the thalamus, the part of the brain which receives signals from the uh, nervous system and then relays them to the cerebral cortex starts to form in the fifth week. Um, however, the link between the, th the thalamus, or however you say that, I might be saying that wrong, and cerebral cortex form around the 23rd week. So, um, it's not 100% sure when the actual pain receptors are completely intact. We don't know. We do know that consciousness doesn't start until three weeks after birth. So, in my opinion, if we allow abortion, we should also allow post-birth abortion up till when a baby is actually conscious. Um, because that would indicate that it is then a life form, if that's the stance that you are taking on it. I believe that it is a life form uh, from the very beginning. Second trimester abortions are often by salt poisoning. A long needle is inserted through the abdomen and a solution of concentrated salt is injected directly into the amniotic sac. The child breathes in the salt solution and is poisoned by it. The, concert, the concentrated saline solution burns off the outer layer of the baby's skin and brain hemorrhages are frequent. It takes about one hour for the child to die slowly by this method. Approximately one day later, the woman goes into labor and delivers a dead baby. Um, there is also partial birth abortion, which is still legal in, I think I heard, 17 states. Partial birth abortion is simply the doctor starts the, the birthing process. The, the legs are pulled out uh, and a pair of scissors or something of that nature is stuck into the back of the baby's head and opened to make a larger hole. Now, I, I don't support any type of abortion. I say that it should be completely illegalized. Now, you ask, well, what about rape? What, if, what happens if your wife is raped and she gets pregnant um, the day after pill? That would stop a pregnancy from happening. Now, I understand that some people do view that as an abortion. I, however, don't. I don't view that as an abortion because nothing is formed at that point. There is nothing formed. All there is is a sperm and an egg together at that point. It's, it's not 
it's beginning to attach itself to the uterus is all is happening there so in my opinion I think that we should completely do away with abortion I think the most telling picture I have ever seen is of a 21 week baby named Samuel you've probably seen the photo before the hand is reaching out and grabbing the surgeon stem cell research is a little different in some aspects the reason I say that is because the embryos that are used for stem cell research if not used are thrown away um, so either way we are killing those embryos now you can use I think chicken embryos or something of that nature to do to do these things so in my personal opinion stem cell research should be allowed because there are many many things that it can be used for the good I mean th there are so many diseases that we can possibly find cures for or at least treatments for by doing these things and technically the embryos are going to be killed no matter what it just depends on how you want to kill them I guess uh, that's a very harsh way of looking at it I know but it's true in the same way so those are my views on abortion and stem cell research uh, this probably will be a highly controversial video and I'm sorry if it offended anyone